In this video we will look into a mathematical problem example on how to calculate the different productivity values based on a given range of information. So, for our problem statement, the following information regarding the output produced and inputs consumed for a particular time period for a particular company is given. It says that the company had an output worth of 10,000 rupees, using human input worth of 3,000 rupees, material input worth of 2,000 rupees, capital input worth of 3,000 rupees, energy input worth of 1,000 rupees, and other miscellaneous inputs worth of 500 rupees. It is also said that, the values are in terms of base year rupee value, we have to compute various productivity indices, which means that we have to calculate the partial productivity total productivity, and, total factor productivity based on the given information. So, let's move into the solution. First of all we will calculate the partial productivity. We know that the calculation of partial productivity depends upon the individual inputs. So when we are talking about calculating the partial productivity, we are actually talking of calculating the productivity depending on each of the individual inputs like human, material capital etc as given here using the formula of total output divided by individual input. So, the labor productivity is obtained by dividing the total output by the labor input, in case labor is written as human, so let's say human input, the value of output is 10,000 rupees, and the value of human input is 3,000 rupees, so, we get a labor productivity of 3.33. After that, the capital productivity is obtained by dividing the total output by the capital input. The value of output is 10,000 rupees, and the value of capital input is 3,000 rupees. So, we get a capital productivity of 3.33. Then, the material productivity is obtained by dividing the total output by the material input. The value of output is 10,000 rupees, and the value of material input is 2,000 rupees. So, we get a material productivity of 5. Similarly, we get a productivity of 10 for energy, and a productivity of 20 for other miscellaneous expenses. So, these were the calculations for partial productivity. Now, let's calculate the total productivity. We know that the formula of total productivity is, total output, divided by total input. Here the total input is the summation of human, material, capital, energy and other miscellaneous expenses as input. So, we will have a total input of 9,500 rupees, and when we divide the total output of 10,000 rupees by this total input, we get the total productivity of 1.053. And finally, let's calculate the total factor productivity. We know that the formula of total factor productivity is, net output, divided by the summation of labor and capital input. Assume that the company purchases all its materials and services including energy, machine and leased equipments. In that case, the net output equals to, total output minus, material and services purchased. So putting the values of the total output of 10,000 rupees, the value of material and services purchased includes material input of 2,000 rupees, energy input of 1,000 rupees, and other miscellaneous inputs of 500 rupees and we divide the obtained value after subtraction by the sum total of labor input of 3000 rupees, plus capital input worth 3000 rupees, which gives us a total factor productivity of 1.0833. So, we have looked into and worked out a mathematical problem example on how to calculate the different productivity values based on a given range of information.